let me take you back. You, you mentioned just now your dad. By the way, uh, Chiranjeevi, sir, is uh, Chiran Chiranjeevi Garu somewhere in the, in the hotel. He's sleeping. <laughs> yes, as I told him, I'm touching down in Delhi and he couldn't wait and he came to Delhi to receive me. Are lovely. Uh, I, we used to see him around in parliament. He was a, a minister. Uh, we'll talk politics later. Uh, but, uh, you know, coming from this, these film families, both you and Junior NTR, and as you mentioned, there were these film family rivalries, at least built up by fan associations. Yes. Uh, in Bollywood, there's this huge debate about nepotism, that people get breaks only because they are so-and-so's children. Uh, in your case, was it something that came naturally to you, cinema? And you've actually, in many ways, actually taken your father's legacy several steps forward. How do you see this? Was it in those early years being Chiranjeevi's son? Or did it, was, it a di was it difficult to become Ram Charan, your own I identity? I don't know, Sid. I don't really uh, understand this. It's a herd mentality. This topic uh, is just driven by a herd or really an individual who feels like this. Because you have a great... Mr. Rajdeep, his son might be inclined towards journalism. It is something like that. He does, it, he does have a, 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 a better chance in uh, working with NDTV, maybe. But at the same time, if you're a fantastic cardiologist, the son also is inclined. So I'm inclined towards acting. I was breathing cinema, living cinema, meeting the producers. I'm inclined towards it. Now, if you call that getting a better chance, I don't know, but... I was in a film school since I was born. So I know the art. I wouldn't have been sustaining, uh, sustained uh, for 14 years if I was not doing something good for myself and not just my dad. So everybody has to. Maybe there'll be a stepping stone for a good uh, platform to step onto. But after that, you have to continue this journey. If not, if I was a normal person, I will not spend 100 rupees or 500 rupees on somebody who I think is somebody's son. You know, it's quite remarkable. Four months or five months ago, we had Yash also on, uh, at India Today Conclave. And, uh, I saw that. And, and he's the son of an auto rickshaw driver. See, there you go. And you've got uh, uh, Ram Charan, son of Chiranjeevi. And yeah. both of you are superstars. So it seems to be at the end of the day, it's all about audience acceptance. Absolutely. If the audience accepts you, you become a superstar. Talent speaks. So Yash, I truly believe his talent spoke. And every other artist who's successful here, only the talent speaks. Families in Telugu uh, cinema were, uh, were also a big factor. Uh, NTR's family, Chiranjeevi Garu's family, there have been other uh, uh, family trees in a way in, in Telugu cinema. Is Telugu cinema also coming of age uh, with what's happened with uh, RRR? And not just RRR, we've seen with Southern cinema in general, the rise of Southern cinema in the last 18 months. Films, one blockbuster after the other. Is there a sense of renewed confidence that you have? I don't have to go to Bollywood now to make it. I'm a global superstar without going to Bollywood. Yes, sir, this, is, uh, this was begun and uh, it, it had a, a very strong impact in our industry and in our films with the Telugu happening with Bahubali and now crossing all the boundaries. But I feel this is a big hit, not because it's from the South or anybody. We have so many industries from Bengal to uh, Tamil Nadu in the South. We have fantastic uh, uh, directors. And I feel what will really make an impact with, with the West or in Japan or in Australia is our Mittika stories have to come out. And uh, Magadira was like that. Lagan was like that. And uh, the parasite from Korea, it was uh, their own story as well. So anybody who makes them uh, uh, from, from their culture, their folklore, uh, their emotion, their struggle. And India has so much of all of this. And the West and the global audience are ready to accept somebody who is original. And India has uh, many, many original directors, many original states who had their own beauty in this music and storytelling, and that's what I feel we will transcend out of this. So you're saying 
cinema in India has transcended all geographies today. Absolutely. Today you don't look at it in terms of Telugu cinema, Hindi cinema. You've just got to look at it as Indian cinema, tell good stories, preferably on an epic scale uh, sometimes. Absolutely, sir. This is no more Indian cinema. This is no more, sorry, there's no more Telugu, Bengali or Bollywood or Hindi cinema. This is Indian cinema. We should propagate that as Indian cinema. And I want the global audience to feel that all of us are one cinema. Is that how, you, when you went to Los Angeles this time, and you know, you're surrounded by all these Hollywood celebrities. I saw a small interview of you where you said you wanted to meet Tom Cruise. Yeah. Did you ever think Tom Cruise might want to meet Ram Charan? No, definitely not for now. How do you know? Maybe in the future he will. <laughs> but not for now. Right now I want to meet him. Right now you want to meet yeah. Tom Cruise. Uh, you could do a Top Gun Maverick. Sir, wish for it. Maybe Hoga. Hoga? Yeah. Uh, wish, wish Usko koi Indian title deke Top Gun Maverick <laughs> kar do. Tell Raja Mauli that I've got the rights Absolutely. for an Indian Top Gun. No, I will wish for it. Let's see. Your wish will come true. Many things came true, I heard, what you wished.